Happy New Year! <laughs> We wish you <laughs> all the best for 2023, don't we? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Our friends took Petra shopping because our van doesn't start at the moment. I'm uh, I'm appointed uh, guard of the camp spot, camper spot for friends, which uh, they left the trailer, put the stepping stool, it's sort of normal, but um, i show you this side of the van, we did some upgrades, so while Peter was shopping I have time to give you an update, we uh, switched the license plate over to the proper position because it was on the right side on sort of the sidewalk side and it's supposed to be in the middle of the road so it either has to be on the left side which it wasn't but now it's just in the middle we took um, the the extra mirrors off from the from the mirror and uh, removed the orange paint because it looked a bit ridiculous on the van, this side as well. I'm uh, running a power lead over here, charging, fast charging the battery. Oh, it says full. Wow, full. Thirteen point two full. And yeah, that's good. So I might as well unplug it then while we're at it. Voila. And I'll go inside in a second, tell you uh, more about what's going on with the van. So we got um, a new fuel filter installed, a new air filter installed, and a new, what's the third one? Diesel filter? Fuel fil is the fuel filter, the oil filter, and the air filter, that's three, right? Yeah. Um, over here, if I will edit, is a sort of emergency switch uh, that we installed as well. And with we, I mean a friend Paul. Um, and this uh, purpose of this is because there was a lot of drain on the battery while the van was standing still. With this switch, uh, it sort of removes, disconnects the battery from the vehicle, sort of. So it's sort of an emergency switch. When we drive, turn it on, and then the, the van will start. It's also uh, prevent people from stealing it, if they would want to. So let's remove these clamps while we're at it. And let's just do it with one hand. So, like this. And yeah, I'll be right back with you. Right, I'm back. Also we have some foil now on the in the cap area which prevents uh, the sun going in um, it also did work oh, while well, we go in let's go in voila so this is what it looks with the foil inside it's just <laughs> we just clip it with clothing pins for now we made a little ropey here uh, clip it, sort of easy-ish to do, uh, put one file over there, easy, you can just, if we would light, we just open it up, when we have neighbors usually close it. Um, yeah, we've got our cat tails for privacy, so we can leave the door open. Uh, yeah, some foil here in the back, over the bed. we still got a leak. Uh, we still got a leak, um, so this is yeah. It's it's kind of it's kind of uh, yeah. Pizza zone, of course. Um, hopefully, Pedro will bring some. Mm -hmm. Yum yum. And um, laptop, washing machine. Just um, 
yeah, let me uh, get ready, sit down, we'll have a chat. All right, I'm sitting down while I'm guarding the spot. You guys are help, helping me guard the spot for our friends, but yeah, it's um, usually if you put something on the spot, people don't take it, take it in for you. But I oh am yeah, well at the spot. Over here is the power box uh, where we plugged in, and we do have electricity um, here in Amexil in Portugal, where we are. This side we've been before. And this is the third time we came here. Well, when we arrived here in Maxwell, a sort of um, a place where we stay a bit longer usually, uh, we said uh, let's um, let's have a look under the un under the motor. Let's open up the, the the metal top cover and look at the situation with the the valves and what's going on because. It does make a little clatter sound, which is usually a sign that there might be an issue with the valves. It's been mentioned in the comments also a lot. So um, we opened it up and we uh, it looked good all right. Uh, at first glance it looked good. And then uh, Paul was sort of, uh, because the, there's little holes, gaps, sort of filling in them, gaps filled with oil. And then suddenly he pulled out this which is a shim for a uh, shim bucket which is sort of part of the valve system I um, hope I'm saying it correctly and the shim is it's a um, shim that's um, a 450 shim and it has a it's sort of bent it's sort of a bent shim and it has a crack in it which we discovered after looking uh, through a uh, enlarging glass, magnifying glass, it's cracked. Uh, when we noticed that, we also noticed that the shim bucket, which is this thing, it has the edges um, <laughs> cut off. So what the system is, this thing, the shim goes in the shim bucket, which has usually an edge around it, and this edge is over here in this little pot. It's been uh, it's been hammered to bits. So all these these parts used to be on this thing, and. Um, So we took out the shim bucket and we noticed it's all sort of hammered away and that explains because we have in our engine we have eight in total eight shim buckets with shims and this one was um, this one was on the side of it so it was sort of on this it was here in the gap instead of on here so it's been hammered, hammered out uh, out of the engine now well, when we knew this, I'll just one second. <laughs> I'm gonna get my Renault master papers. When we knew this, we checked the what's it called, the bills, and we found on our bill notes it said it says here. Um, on July 14, 2016, at the mileage 200 the kilometer kilometer 257,000, there was a repair of the engine where they replaced the shim bucket, which is this thing. In Dutch, it's called klepstoter. So um, it was sort of after they replaced it the same issue played up again so this was a replacement one of the eight is replaced we are not sure if it was this one because when we took off the rocket cover oh, I think it's called the rocket cover the top 
steel, steel top. I'll have some, I'll have play some clips of it. We noticed it was damaged in multiple areas, so there was a lot of scratching going on in the top cover, and uh, and some of the supporting brackets were sort of shaved off or chipped off. So it it's it had some hammering done to it, sort of. Uh, like it's been to war. Then we ins did also discovered that the top cover has a crack in it, uh, which might explain why uh, we have an oil leak that we sort of couldn't figure out why it was leaking oil, where it was coming from. Might have been spewing out this spewing out this crack a little bit. So uh, that's sort of a big a big thing um, to discover. So it, ha it had an issue with this before, and it happened again in 2022. And it's uh, probably already, when we bought the van, this was already uh, done for. It didn't happen on our travel, because you'll hear it, or you'll notice the difference from performing well to not performing well. And this van, since we had it, and in the Netherlands where we bought it, it's only flat, flat area, so you don't really notice it. You don't really notice it until you go in the hills. Uh, and wait for night before we went on the journey, it sort of hadn't really uh, tested the van. And long drives uphill. So the issue sort of came to light while traveling. And it might, it might have been a, one of the reasons why the van was for sale. And uh, the previous owner, since he had it, he, he had this repair done. And it might have noticed that it played up again and might have been uh, another reason for him to sell it. On top of the reason that we have the leaky uh, leaks situation. Also here in the front it leaks. Um, so then it was a matter of seeing if with this old Renault Master van if we can still find these parts. Because we had to have to replace this because it sort of bent uh, and cracked so it might crack uh, through if 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 you put it onto a lot of pressure again and we needed to find one of these so we um, uh, we asked the local uh, mechanic uh, here in the where we went uh, on other occasions with our other vans if he could find this part and he said no I can't find it so we went online and uh, found it ourselves and it, it's been delivered since then. It's been uh, uh, put, we put back in the new parts and now it's a matter of, because we had silicone, uh, we put some silicone uh, when we put the cover back on, put some silicone in between and it needs to dry out. So when it's dried out a couple of days, uh, we're going to start it and drive it a little bit. Now, because it was also tuned with uh, the richness of the fuel in intake, um, when it was sort of uh, tuned for this broken part, so with the replaced part in it, we might have to retune it also. So it's it's seeing what happens when we start it, when we drive it, uh, if there will be any issues, new issues, uh, what will what's going to happen, we don't know yet. Uh, so it is it is interesting, but we're very uh, fortunate that uh, Paul is still with us, uh, helping us. Uh, otherwise, yeah. We were sort of stuck here for a while. So that's sort of the, the update that I wanted to give you guys. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a pleasure traveling uh, with our friends. It's been a traveling... Uh, it's always an adventure when you're traveling. And because we hadn't done it for two years, we were sort of super... Yeah, super happy that we did it. Uh, it's now winter. It's uh, we just had Christmas here in the mix, y'all. Uh, as you can see, the the weather is excellent. Uh, got my shorts on, my shorts, my t-shirt. So very happy. Um, uh, this spot that we're at, 
uh, there is talk of it becoming a paid site. At the moment it's free, but uh, there's rumors that from January on it might turn into a paid site. If it does, the van needs to be ready because then we have to roll out because uh, we're sort of limited on our, on our budget as always. But while we're here and while the electricity is on, I thought I'd give you an update, make this uh, video for you while we have a moment of time. Having said that, I'll go uh, make, uh, put this video together and then Petra can watch it and approve it so we can put it online for you today. All right, I'll sign off for now and uh, let's wait for Petra. A bit shopping.